All right, Facebook, find Bigfoot. Sasquatch, the morphology through names and descriptions, the tra traditions and relics of uh, Native American and First Nation peoples of Canada. This is part one. Um, complete, it's completely consistent with the modern pictures, videos, and sightings. These indigenous tribes lived in the same forest, tracking and hunt, hunting the billion ungulates uh, that roam North America. They get far closer than we do today. Direct evidence goes back 800 years, but most assuredly goes back 12,000 years ago when the first modern humans crossed the land bridge. Sasquatch probably crossed one million years ago. Um, the names are very accurate. Uh, great efforts have been done by many researchers. Okay. And we're going to start here. You can see a couple of books that have been done. There's one by Allie. But we're going to go through the Native American uh, tradition of being very literal with their nomenclature, like dances with wolves. It, that's literal um, that, that describes what it is. This is compelling evidence. It shows how and why. It shows that the population was widespread over several billion acres of forest. So here's the, uh, the, the basic distribution of American Indians, and here's the basic sighting distribution, modern sighting distribution of Sasquatch. If you look through all their names, you'll start to see that it's the Stone Man, Evil God of the Woods, uh, Great uh, Tall Animal, Man, Shaggy Like Bear, uh, Mountain, Forest Giants, Forest Indians, Stick Indians, The Tree Men, Man with Little Hat, he's kind of a coned head, uh, The Wild Men of the Woods, Boss of the Woods, uh, The Stone Giant, Acting Like Trees, I mean that's what they do. Uh, bad luck or disaster, the frightener, you know, the screaming, the the mask being, living solid face, the gamekeeper. I mean, obviously, if we're hurting or trying to get animals. If you look at um, more Native Americans, the owl woman, it's very common that Sasquatch mimic owls. Uh, the trickster mimicking wild Indians. Uh, the giants, the giant tall man, uh, cannibal giant. It's pretty remar remarkable. The tall burnt hair, auburn colored hair, which is uh, very common. Night people equals nocturnal. Uh, spirit hidden by woods, tree hiding. Uh, you know, the five brothers. But also, in you know, Canada and the First Nations, there's about what, how the largest forest you can think is the female cannibal, wild man of the wood, the bushman. Some of these. A uh, tall, kneeless, giant swing or bent leg walk, uh, man-like animal. Uh, some of these groups have a tree striker, wood knocking. It's amazing. One who rides and hides, instinctive hiding response, which we've seen before. A tall, hairy man with burning eyes, red eye shine there. A man who runs on all fours, quadrupedal running. Uh, Eskimos have 12 words. Uh, for snow describing each state of snow. Some of these groups have um, up to eight and nine words to describe the same being. You don't just have all these different uh, names unless you actually have different states and different things you see. Uh, with red burning eyes, very bad smell, big elder brother. Um, ape, monkey, Bigfoot. I don't know about monkey, but uh, mask being in tribal ceremony. One thing is, the thing is that the tribal and the cultural areas is that when, imagine that as they make these masks, and this is from the Iroquois from out east, is that th there's rich with these artifacts and rich with Sasquatch. I mean, if you look in the, the, the northeast, there's a there, there's a few sightings, but the uh, west there's many, many sightings, and you can see that there's uh, a number of different groups that live in the the, the Pacific Northwest because the, the the climate is rather mild. You'll see that the a monkey's lips can purse, and uh, the brow ridge and whatever, and there you start seeing the brow ridge and the monkey pursing, and these are. Uh, traditional Sasquatch ma masks. And one of the things that has to ask yourself is, are the, tr the traditions um, possibly a way to 
bring forth or to rationalize this this person. When you look at the totem poles, you'll see a lot of these same things, and you know, possibly these big bonfires and the drums and the ceremony may have actually had a real meaning. Maybe to try to call them out from the woods, and uh, maybe this is a possible. Uh, method or a way to trap and draw a Sasquatch close enough to actually get it on a thermal camera. Uh, the variety is remarkable and also uh, um, the art is just fantastic. These are not dumb people. They're just as smart as you and I, just in a different way. If you look at the totem figures, Sasquatch um, frequently is under the eagle, second. And you can see the uh, the pursed lips, uh, the hooded nose here. That one, I'm not sure if that's the owl or whatever it is, but there's different speculation what what they are. Here's an older um, example. In the Tool River in California, there's rock pictographs. Uh, you can see, kind of see the Sasquatch distribution, and this is the painted rock, which is right in the middle of an active Sasquatch area. These are pictographs are used to describe and relate history. Um, you can see there's you know three Sasquatch that were uh, taking a picture of there. Well, here is a picture drawn. There's a large male Sasquatch, and of course everyone's seen this common um, thing with the the, the eyes likely uh, indicating kind of a their eyes are shining or red. Uh, this is a, a great example of how the eyes are almost glowing. This is of course blue, but you kind of see the same thing. Here is the female, of course hidden, you know, possibly that stick means it's hidden by uh, woods describing what it is. Of course you see the there's a there's a, a picture of a possible Sasquatch, the head there hidden by woods. Okay, the young one, it's very, very interesting. You'll see it's done in red, which is very rare. But you see the little, the little arrows there, or the little things that indicates possibly that that the hair was glowing. That it's different. If you look at one of the few fit pictures of a Sasquatch child, you'll see that there is almost a blonde hair. Well, conclusions. Um, the the first Europeans discounted the indigenous populations as being less than uh, they were intelligence-wise, but they were definitely wrong. They carved out a, a life that was extremely difficult, you know, with uh, less than uh, improved tools. They're very smart. They're very accurate. Once you consider that some of the tribal customs, such as the all-night powwow drumming and the dances, were specifically designed to draw a Sasquatch in. Uh, so there's really two choices. Is there are no Sasquatch, nothing example. It's all a common uh, collective con conscious, or there are many breeding populations throughout the uh, United States, and they've been successful for at least one million years, and have adapted for the megafauna that was that used to exist here in the heavy trees and the in the, the long winters. Part two will discuss the native New Zealand and native Hawaiian populations and the complete lack of sightings therein.